you never know with, with the winter queen in play anything can really happen here and, and cloud nine right now uh, after that first game they're going to be feeling really good because they have that uh, you know double advantage even if they lose here we can go to the beautiful sands of Tolvir, and you can definitely bury someone there with a big convoke uh, or a mastery combo so we're gonna have to see what they end up doing here but we are going live here with game number two c9 spicy chicken cleave versus otk windwalker dk shaman yeah, Cloud9 are looking finger licking good in game one there with that Convoke the Spirits <laughs> victory. Let's see what they can get. Let's see, let's see if they can dump them again into the the sweet and sour <laughs> sauce of the Convoke the Spirits. Oh, c getting solar. Are they going to go after c -Doo? Trill stunned behind the pillar. Oh! oh! Wow! Are you kidding me? <laughs> lots of streaming the and lots of noise. Just lost it. Oh, he kicked it. Look, he countered it. He, he, it. It's, oh good. my goodness gracious <laughs> that's what that's one of those cases where it's meteor in the air and, and like you just don't care i mean he did drop the amz <laughs> but the meteor ended up hitting and the meteor hit him anyways we're gonna see it i mean what cloud nine they have to feel so good about this that is the most tilting thing that can happen to otk and uh, i mean well that was how long was that game that was under a minute it was like 24 seconds, but if they play a replay, I really want to hear the comms on that from you guys because <laughs> the simultaneous screaming was killing me, but here okay. it is right now. Let's take a let's take a look right now what happens, okay? Wealthy Man so and Cubsy are trying to move into position. They get the root beam on c and then they're ready to go. So Cubsy, about to use his Divine Steed, pushes in, gets the Hammer of Justice, and Mez is just a little bit too late on the Anti-Magic Zone. And I'm pretty sure that was all Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man just sold yep. him with combustion. A hundred oh in one yep. second. Goodness. <laughs> so what yeah. a lethal, lethal composition here. And I just want to remind you guys, this is Cloud Nine that we're seeing do this here. This is the the, the, the kings of dampening, and now they are this is this series is, hasn't even been like 10 minutes yet both of those games were shut down so quickly and this may be a 3-0 against otk they're just not holding it together for very long here all right, all right space station gaming versus golden guardians space station gaming one win away from sending golden guardians out of this tournament let's see if they can pull it off here facing elimination they're sneaking up on space station gaming sap on Gareki. Cheap shot on Chun, starting the fight actually on Chun Li, mixing it up, looking for instant eradication. What? And they will net <laughs> a kill. The immediately Golden Guardians showing what's up. Whiskey with that combustion popping off in game three. <laughs> I, I could just I could just hear Peekaboo right now saying, okay, we'll just do that every time. <laughs> Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> you Queue up, queue up. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, Golden Guardian's about to turn this around. Are we going to see our third reverse sweep of the day? That was a super quick game. Another one of those ones where I look away for just a couple seconds and boom, I look back. Someone is dead. Golden Guardians, they are a team that likes to ramp it up here. And it looks like they may be starting to do that, Zico. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing is, if you looked at the previous game as well, it was so close that they just deleted Thug in the opener. And Whiskey actually didn't even use his Meteor here because they were all stacked up. Uh, the only difference is really the target this time around. They were like, well, this guy doesn't have the Prot Legendary, so let's see what happens here. They get the Sheep Shot, they get the Sap, and uh, yeah. Uh, yep, that looked, that looked pretty good. Let's do that again. <laughs> Wait, did Windwalkers have a Brewmaster Legendary? <laughs> I, I mean, there do, might be. I haven't looked, it. honestly. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. But at Chun Li, you can see just yeah, we're seeing it for the second time. That was a quick, quick KO. Yeah, I think we're gonna watch it for a third time in a row. All right. <laughs> Poor Chun. Yeah, Poor Ooh, Chun. As well. Yeah. Yeah, this, is, this is such a BM, man. Poor Chun Li. <laughs> Chun's no, it's, just it's trying to live his life. life. Love you, Chun. <laughs> Chun's just trying to live his life. Yeah, just, just line the pyro. Just, and I think that's also why we're seeing more Affliction Warlocks compared to Destruction Warlocks. Because you actually, if you're not casting, you're still at least like kind of contributing. Whereas with the Destruction Warlock, <laughs> it really feels like if you're not getting those big Chaos Bolts off, uh, it feels like you're not actually going to be able to do too much there in the matchup.
I mean, the Ron Paul and Zeb basically have a really big wheelbarrow that they're putting the Destro Warlock in, trying to carry him through this, I think. Uh, it's going to be really tough. And look at this opener right now from Charlotte Phoenix. Crowd control across the board. Paladin just Whoa! gets picked out of nowhere. Charlotte Phoenix going to close this down. 2-0. One more win, and they will be advancing. Yeah, Rogue Mage as a Paladin is very scary. If no one on your team does anything to help you, and Zeb got caught out. I mean, it's basically game over at that point. Boy, quick victory from Charlotte Phoenix on match point here. Pressure really, really on for FLP. They lose one more game. They are out of this tournament. Charlotte Phoenix just holding nothing back against this team here. What is left for FLP to even do with this point, Z-Guy? This is just not looking very good for them. Uh, if you see combustion, you gotta just Someone has to insta it. use your whole <laughs> spellbook, basically, <laughs> because look at Jamili's damage there. Not only did he get the combustion up, but he got a clean meteor there with the combustion without anybody stacking. So even if uh, the Ron Paul trinkets there, chances are he's gonna get stunned on his trinket and just die through it. Uh, but we do have the replay here, so let's watch it. So Nozam, obviously expected to be the target, staying far away from his healer, because that's what you want to be doing as a sub, he gets sapped, and his pet is just standing next to him, MIA, and they get the double stun here. Now look, Ron Paul completely isolated, and that meteor just chunks him down. He trinketed, actually, but he didn't use his divine protection as well, so definitely a that was, misplay that was there a from the Ron Paul. Yeah, that was. But also, it's really hard. Like you gotta, you gotta react very fast to that. If he yeah. walled, so that's though, just one we're watching meteor. it again. No, wait. If he walled, I think he would have lived. Did he really yeah, not he wall? I feel like if even he, if he walls plus trinket battle masters, he does survive that without using his bubble. But he has to trade it immediately. Did he and get I, interrupted? Maybe. No, it wasn't interrupted. So, he no. could. It's just so fast that he didn't. <sighs> yeah. It's just so fast. I mean, Fire Mage's burst is absolutely crazy right now. Curious to see uh, if they do decide to play a more defensive game here. They've selected a very large map, so I would anticipate that um, it's going to be interesting to see what their target's going to be. Are they going to go for the Rogue again or the Shadow Priest? Because they got all of Wizcase cooldowns early on, and then we saw them make a swap to Peekaboo. They got all of his cooldowns, and then they just couldn't close the game out. So perhaps they should just pick a target and stay on it for the match here. Wizke initially going to be the target as Peekaboo sneaks in. Stunning Oxygen, Shadow stepping over to CMD. The Mage is going to be the target, but Aiden with a pre-grapple weapon denies Peekaboo. And huge pressure on Wizke right off the bat. Wizke fading. That's when the Tiger of Aiden, and he is still just late. Aiden, waste Whoa. to risk game. That's it. KO. Aiden says, I'm not playing around. <laughs> it takes game two go. in a matter of seconds. Yeah, that that really is. That's the power of the Windwalker Monk. When you have your images, you have Zwen, you have weapons of order. If you do not respect that damage, you are going to find yourself in a situation like that. Unitas, they pull the trigger, they get the damage rolling, and Aiden, I, I'm excited to see the scoreboard for that one because I feel like he absolutely crushed that game. Yeah, I'm, I am as well. I mean, what a scary opener from Unitas. How, how did that differ from game number one, Zico? It was, was Golden Guardians just not quite using their defensives enough, or was it something that Unitas did differently for game number two? Well, uh, they definitely under-responded a little bit on the side of the Golden mm -hmm. Guardians, uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but wow, look at that damage. 117,000, <laughs> what is that? That is everybody on the entire map combined. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's more than everybody on the entire map combined. Uh, so Aiden definitely uh, looking like a Windwalker main right now, uh, despite <laughs> being that rogue main. Uh, but yeah, also that grapple weapon as well uh, it's just swung the momentum in their favor instantly as well. Peekaboo went for the kidney on the healer, and then he wanted to do the setup there on the mage, but he got uh, disarmed right away. So uh, he couldn't really do too much there. And then Aiden, he just decided, okay, well, let's, uh, let's do some damage now. <laughs> Yep, and let's check out that replay as well from that game number two. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of want to look at how this replay did go down because I feel like there are things you can do to prevent that damage. Um, when Aiden, oh, he actually did. He actually did root the, the Zwen and stuff like that. So I guess Aiden just went with it. You can see the Earthgrab totem did come in from Absurge and Aiden was just high up time on Whiskey, got some spinning crane kick procs and uh, that was it. That was. That was quite insane. Um, Hi, <laughs> yeah. Time. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 like I have to have five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, 
you have to yeah. Uh, yeah i feel like against windwalker monks you really have to freak out like that moment you're literally doing like 300 percent, 400 percent bonus damage so mm-hmm. you have to be very careful um but i guess what, what else can i say about that but uh they're making it work they're getting the setups they're surviving uh barely sometimes but they are surviving and they're up in the series two to one unitas right now on match point if they do not win this game they are eliminated from this tournament this weekend and We'll have to see if they can rise to the occasion. Peekaboo goes in for a sap, and it looks like he'll be starting on Aiden. Oh, he's starting out pretty aggressively here. Already half of Aiden's health gone right on the first cheap shot. Manages to trade Karma, trying to hold on to further cooldowns. So Peekaboo is chasing after him here around the corner. He ports away from Peekaboo. After just in line of sight, but he gets paralyzed. Aiden setting up leg sweep on Whiskey, but Peekaboo dodges it. Now goes for a defensive shadowy duel, preventing any damage onto Whiskey. However, it was a duel not during the Zwen Tiger, so Aiden still has cooldowns. He could overwhelm Whiskey. He's not careful. Aiden's lining him up. Storm, Earth, and Fire. Double Drag's breath. CMD looking to try and find crowd control. Gets in interrupted they need to crowd control absturge this is when the tiger gets rooted all the images get rooted aiden gets totally shut down on his biggest burst now aiden in trouble stun lock golden guardians totally diffuse that situation and now aiden has to diffuse and Whoa. dies through it golden guardians close it out three to one beautiful shutdown unbelievable what an insane opener <laughs> that was absolutely crazy i mean from start to finish golden guardians they had the pressure in that matchup Aiden really didn't have a moment to breathe. It just felt like he was either running away or just trying desperately to survive. And Golden Guardians, they were able to really capitalize on a bit of defensive cooldown mismanagement and really punish their opponents. And unfortunately for Unitas, they are now eliminated. All right, game number one. Go ahead, Zico. I'm gonna go with the... Actually, I'll get back to you after this, I am. <laughs> that is okay, I'm not. I'm it. That's a rigging it. That. 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 That's your it's not a prediction if you Never wait till it's you over. Prediction again. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, uh, it is the Zika way. It is the uh, Zika way. But, anyways, game number one here it is Method versus Old Miss Strike in the European finals. Ooh, and you know what? This is actually. You know what's interesting about this is actually the first Windwalker we've seen in Europe. It was definitely the flavor that Seafone Green in uh, <laughs> North America yesterday, but this is the first time we've seen a Windwalker monk be played in this top eight in Europe. So we'll see what they can get done. Ring of Frost unfortunately misses onto Nerd Rage, and it looks like Nerd Rage will be able to shut that down. If you don't get crowd control on the Warrior, just so effective at soaking up that damage with Intervene. And now Thessia once again is going to be on the run. Yeah, and that was actually the Trinket Sanctuary as well from Kara. So uh, they forced out one of the healer's trinkets. Now they need to try to force out the second one. The problem in this matchup is it's extremely hard to actually get that combust reset if you are the mage. So Tessia is going to be in a lot of trouble so far now. Waz setting up uh, another setup here, potentially with the leg sweep. They get the Hammer of Justice, double blinding life. Big damage here onto Tana. Beautiful <laughs> setup. What? That is just the Windwalker one shot with Zwen the Tiger. And just like I predicted, Four O here in the grand finals for Method. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, all right. Listen, production. We need to mute this guy. This is ridiculous. I refuse to work alongside you. <laughs> Go ahead, Sika. No, I, I was just gonna. I, oh, sorry. I, I was no, just gonna say. I mean, that Method set that up so beautifully, but Oldness Strikes also really made a mistake. Kara using his Trinket Sanctuary, is, Waz didn't use anything. He didn't use Weapons of Order, he didn't use his Zwen, he didn't even commit images, oh. and they just freaked out and panicked. And during that second go, Waz just popped everything and completely one-shot Tana. That was really well set up there by Method. I, I feel like they... They freaked out a little bit about the combust, and I, honestly, I would have liked the trinket sank more if Nerdridge wasn't uh, was also CC'd by that ring. But since he wasn't, they maybe could have held it there. But the thing is, combust is so strong right now; it's not that weird that they maybe overreact a little bit there in the start. Uh, I definitely feel like they underreacted though on this second setup. This was a super clean setup. They got the double blinding light, a completely isolated target there. Windwalker's popping all of his cooldowns there. You got to just use Trinket Astral Shift there immediately. And when that stun hits you, uh, if you are Tana, it's the only thing that's going to keep him alive there. So uh, I definitely feel like he underresponded there in the second setup. Uh, but the first setup, yeah, it was combust. I think it's a, kind of a fair trade.